we just got home from grocery shopping and yeah I have all that stuff to sort the fridge is quite bare <laughs> This is like, I think this is the barest my fridge has been because we've been so busy. So we kind of pretty much ate everything in the fridge. Not everything in the fridge, but some stuff in the fridge. So I'm going to open up the fridge right now. Yes. Has your fridge ever been this bare? Yeah, my, I think my daughter, one of my daughters just bought this. It's like when you go grocery shopping, don't go when you're hungry or thirsty because the kids will be grabbing stuff. And I have fruits. I took those fruits from down there and I put this fruit. So we still have to eat these fruits before we eat the new ones. I'm going to make some stew later on. So this I took out. I have tomatoes and red peppers there. We have bread. So we don't keep our bread. Only if we're going to eat our bread, then we put it here. But most of the time, the fruit, the bread that we eat is in the deep freezer and we buy nigerian breads we don't eat american breads like that so we buy agige bread from downtown well southwest houston if you want bread from the bakery we go to the bakery and buy it and here are my condiments this is my husband's one and it's nearly finished you can see lemon this is like flavor for coffee and these are condiments you can see we're not huge american salad eaters so that's why my bro my husband and my well i bought this and i've not used this so much barbecue sauce spices this one we got from a restaurant it is so spicy so spicy we use this a lot when we make some stuff and the girls when they go to school they take this but one more left and then chicken broth i use this broth when I cook sometimes and we have all this stuff now all this grocery shopping that we did we did it at Walmart this time most of the time we do it at Walmart so what I'm going to do now is whenever I do grocery shopping and it's a big grocery shopping like this I like cleaning out the kitchen and um, the fridge not the kitchen the fridge so I'm, I'm gonna finish cleaning out this area right here so let me set this over here so I'm just going to, I took um, one of the sections out and I'm using a little bit of soap and just scrubbing it, removing the stuff, any dirt that I see before I put a new load out there. So I don't know why this light is messing up on me like this, trying to focus on the fridge. So let me close the fridge. I'm going to remove the bottom section also, we have this bottom area. And I'm removing this bottom area and I'm gonna wash that also and I wipe down inside of the fridge I wipe it down with um, apple cider vinegar so I've been using this for years 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 so I just usually mix part water and part apple cider vinegar so I do like this much of um, water okay so like this much of water and this much of apple cider you can put soap detergent inside I saw fantastic favor she did put soap detergent inside but I don't because it gets very soapy we use this to wipe down the countertop the brick the dining area so I'm gonna just wash inside here okay and I'm rinsing it off so as to get any debris that I stuck in here you know okay and then I have a clean wipe that I use and I wipe it down so that it's not so soapy so when that is done I'm gonna do the next section do this we might do the same thing wash it down and this one is for the meat area so I'm gonna wash it down real good and I'm still gonna do the haul for you all so that you can see but this is my routine grocery shopping routine uh, so this is what I do after I buy my food Make sure all the food is cleared off. If you want to see how I do my grocery shopping, my pantry clean up, I can show you also. Go we'll wash it down and after washing it down, wipe it. Wipe it real good so that there's no leftover anything there and everywhere is nice and clean. So we're going to put this back in there. But before we put it back, remember I told you that I always take a little bit of this and I wipe it down inside the fridge so get your paper towel and we're gonna go inside the fridge so let's zoom inside 
<laughs> yeah let's zoom inside that fridge okay so this is the fridge so as you can see right here inside the fridge all you're just gonna do is take your paper towel spray and then give it a good wipe I've already done this section so I'm just doing the bottom section wiping it real good because sometimes you know kids and people picking food and all this stuff there can be dirt in the fridge so you want to get it real good the reason why you don't want to use disinfectant like bleach and all that stuff is because this is where you put your food you don't want any nasty chemicals in there i want to get you know those nice fridge those big big fridge fridge i think we're outgrowing our fridge so i need to get a better fridge okay so the fridge is clean now let's do our haul today i bought this is a four tier custom shoe rack for my daughter when i'm going to i don't know our closet is kind of hard to see but she needed a shoe rack and when my oldest daughter my oldest daughter took my youngest daughter's shoe rack don't ask me why she did that she chanced that Gaija will say ah she chanced that she's like Emily Bon. I'm the grown-up I'm the big sister so she took her sister's shoe rack because she never had a shoe rack and then I bought this for her sister and Daniela goes I want this I want this one I'm like hey so now you want this just because your sister wants this but Talani is pretty laid back Talani will probably just give her this because this one is really good I like it because you can do see so many shoes you can arrange your shoes in different way if you have boots you can arrange it like this and Eniola has a good collection of shoes Tony has a good collection of shoes but anyway so we bought that the next thing that I do is after cleaning my fridge what I'm going to do is you can I take um, I forgot to buy it too. Usually they have like a deodorizer. I forgot to buy. I usually put a deodorizer in there. So the first thing that I'm gonna put in my fridge is my eggs. Um, we normally just buy the Walmart egg. I'm not bougie like that. I normally buy the, the Walmart egg. But I want to try, I was telling my daughters that there are different kind of eggs. You can get cage-free eggs, you can get normal eggs. This one says it is organic cage-free brown eggs. So this one was one dollar more expensive than the normal one that we buy so i'm going to put that in the fridge usually in the same section that we put our eggs next thing on my list that i have is milk and the only milk that we drink is we drink almond milk we don't drink any other milk this is the one that the kids and i drink my husband likes drinking i'll show you the milk that my husband likes drinking this is what my husband likes. Powder is a Niger guy, so he likes needle. And that's one he drinks. So we also have, let me see. We have shrimp. So I'm gonna take the shrimp. I'm gonna put the shrimp in the freezer. And this is my freezer. So I'm gonna put the shrimp in the freezer. We have Welch's natural jam. So this is what it looks like. Welch's natural jam and this is what my youngest daughter likes this jam so this let me see what else we need for the fridge i have this is not this banana so we have bananas and i use this for my smoothie and stuff i usually my bananas what i do is that i just hang them on this rack thing there so this is what i hang them on and that's my banana and I also have plantain, green plantain. So lately, I, I like eating green plantain. You can use it to make plantain fufu. So green plantain for plantain fufu or boiled plantain. And that is green. I don't want it to ripen. So because I don't want it to ripen, I'm just going to keep it out so that it doesn't ripen. I have a bag of vegetable, frozen vegetable. And this is the kind of frozen vegetable. It has zucchinis, it has collard greens, it has, um, not collard greens, it has cauliflower, it has broccoli, and um, zucchini, and squash, and also carrot. So that one, I put in my vegetable section in the freezer. What else do I have? We have some 
turkey sausages. This is a smoked turkey sausages. This is a Hillshire farm. This is what we like it in. So this one, the girls make a sandwich for school with it. We have onions. I like red onions for Nigerian foods and salads. So I'm gonna put that in my pantry. I only have one red, one red onion left. I only have one red onion left. Let me close that so that we don't waste um, electricity, waste all that stuff. Okay, tomatoes. These are fresh tomatoes. They're great tomatoes. I like chewing on this as a snack. So these are my tomatoes. And then the girls also like this tangerine. They're called cuties. They're these little tangerines. They take them to school. So what I do is I open them up and I just pour them in here. Okay? I put them in the section where I just poured. I also bought lemon. I used lemon for my um, apple cider vinegar. I use lemon for my teas, green tea. I like putting lemon in it. When I make green tea, color green, um, collagen green tea, I use the lemons in it. So I'm gonna pour that in here also. Next, we have, let me see what else we have. Okay, so this is for school. This is no sugar added pear. And they use it for, and, um, they use it for school. This is what it is, like a cup, and you can use it for your school. Hi, sweetie. Okay, so I'm going to put applesauce also at the bottom, Woo, like that. So all the stuff is on the floor, I'm going to pick it up. So that is all we got. Believe it or not, that's all we got. Um, we have other foods because as I told you, we make Nigerian food. We have more food that still exists. This will last us a week to a week and a half. Let me show you what else we got. So we got sardine, and this is what I used to make my fake Nigerian stew. And um, this is this brand of the sardine that we use. Yeah, so this will last us for a week. The girls like fish, anything with fish, they like it. So I'm putting that in the pantry. This is for quick breakfast. This is Belvita. For sometimes when you know they're running late for the bus, they just grab one of this. This is what it looks like. It's like a Belvita stuff. So we're gonna just dump that. I have a snack section. I know I'm just trying stuff on the floor. And this is Eniola's snack for after, right before she goes to play tennis. She eats this. This gives her a lot of energy. So I usually I don't like things in packages for some reason. I always remove everything from the package and I just dump it in there. So this is our snack. So this is our snack case. Uh, we have all this stuff. Okay, yeah, you can bring it. And then this is like raisins, Velveeta, almonds, trail mix. So this is like our snack bowl. Hey guys, um, I also got this. Wait, when will we go? Yeah, she also bought something. I got this. It's like a board for like the dates and stuff like that. And it came with this pack of like, it has markers, magnets, and My other is. stuff. And push pins and all that stuff. So it also came with it. So go back to your haul. Okay. Because I'm not putting it right now. Okay, I'm going back to my haul. Eniola, this is Eniola. She I likes this Jiffy, Jif Creamy Natural Peanut Butter. And she likes using it like breakfast, I think. So that's Eniola. Um, I like my snack. I like popcorn. Um, the girls also like popcorn. Kettle popcorn. This is the smart one. This is like 100 calories, as you can see. It's a small pack. For, and so what I do is I don't like packages, so I just take it and I just dump it into this container right here. See? So handy. And then if I need it, I just take it from there and I put it in the pantry. So everything has its place in the pantry. Um, what else? What else did we get? Yeah. So this is for my fake Nigerian stew. If you've not seen that recipe for fake Nigerian stew, please check it out. It's on this channel. So I'm gonna, I bought two containers of it because the girls asked for me to make it again. I'm like, okay. Well, I will make it again. They loved it. For me, it's no stress because it doesn't take forever to make. And last but not the least, oh, okay. 
We bought this for quesadilla. Tolani is gonna do a video how she makes a quesadilla. I think we still have some cheese. Yeah, so she's gonna do a video on how she makes a quesadilla. So this one I don't put it in the fridge, I just put it up here. Um, last but not the least, this is air freshener. I put this in my bathroom underneath the toilet. <laughs> And I open it up and this smells really good. It makes everywhere smell good. So if somebody uses a restroom and doesn't spray, they have this. So this is, that was my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. If you did, give us a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, please do subscribe. And we'll check you guys. We'll talk to you guys later. Take care. Bye.